In this video, I will show you how you can construct long and complex link expressions when you need to. My name is Oran Horvat, you may know me from Plural Site, where I have published a dozen of video courses. If you like what you see in this video, you can watch my course Making Your C Sharp Code More Object Oriented, for example, or any other of my courses. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about new videos and about live coding sessions. Now, link. How do you write, how do you construct a large link expression when you are facing a complex request? In this video, I will solve a simple request from the customer. Say this video is published on YouTube and when you publish something on YouTube, you have analytics and analytics include a histogram like this one showing activity for the last 48 hours. We want to build that same feature into our custom application. So that is the problem we are solving. And this is the record which is modeling a customer, a user visiting our website and the repository which is modeling the operation of fetching the latest usage from our external users. I will show you what the data look like and those are the data that we will format in form of the histogram. You can see the whole bunch of uh, events happening on the website and again we need to format those and to populate a histogram with these data. How do we do that? We want data up to 10 a.m. this morning and for the last 48 hours. So these are the parameters. How do we extract the data? We start from the repository and we get the data up to the current moment. And this call returns an innumerable. That is where link begins. How do we construct a single link expression which does everything to populate a histogram component or just print it out on the console for debugging purposes? So you attach the first method to innumerable, for example, to select the age of each individual sample. When constructing a link expression, you need to know what comes on its input and what the method you have just applied is returning on its output. On the input here is the sequence of those usage records. And on the output, we have a sequence of integers, each integer representing the age of one sample expressed in hours. When you build a complex link expression, you would effectively observe only one i enumerable at a time. We used to have an i enumerable of usage, now we have an i enumerable of int. What do we do with those? We take them while they are no older than the maximum age. And again, we have a sequence of integers out. So forget everything that happened before this line and only think about the i enumerable of int representing ages in hours. Then we want to populate that histogram, all right? So what do we need? We need to group so that we can count them. We mold that into a tuple which contains values that will be useful in drawing these data. So we, we need an exact hour when this group of samples begins. Then we have the age and we have count of samples within that one hour. The result is again an I enumerable, an I enumerable of tuples. So it doesn't matter that we had an I enumerable of groups before. It doesn't matter that we have an I enumerable of ints before that grouping. Nothing matters. You always look at a single line of code, the last operator applied. What is the type and what is the content of items it returns? This one returns the i numerable of tuples. So let's sort them by the age, sort them descending from the oldest to the newest samples. Then format them into strings that are printable. I want to see this on the screen on, on the console for debugging purposes. And then I want to really print them out, so I will add one extension method, which is really just printing out the lines. So let's apply that. This is all. This is the entire 
complex link operator that I have just built. What I effectively did was to always focus on a single sequence, a single enumerable of something. And I know what that something is. Is it a domain model? Value calculated from it? Is it a grouping of, the, of multiple objects? At every single moment, you only observe a single sequence of objects and process that one sequence into the next stage. So, if you wanted to construct a complex link expression, this is how to do that. One step at a time. And once you do that, you will start noticing the problems. But let me run the application. It is really printing out the, the histogram. For debugging purposes, this is perfectly fine. Looks perfectly fine, it's not. What is the problem with this link expression? The first line get usages from latest is asking the repository for data, but then the third line take while is also effectively querying the data source. So what is this line in between them doing? I need to remodel this uh, link expression a bit, adding another parameter, the cutoff time and moving the second take while, the take while operator where it belongs. Now these two lines are one after another, these two operators. Now we face another issue. Why is this link operator mixing different kinds of logic? These lines here are the infrastructure, they belong to the repository. But this line and two lines after it are clearly a domain logic. All until this line here, order by, ordering is not domain logic, it is UI logic. Domain doesn't need to sort the data, UI needs to sort the data. So sorting, formatting the strings and writing lines, this is UI logic. I have mixed three levels of detail into a single expression. That is wrong. That is wrong because as the project grows larger, some of these lines will need to be reproduced in, in many other places in the project. And that is wrong because if anything changes, I would have to modify multiple link queries all around the project. And there is more. There is a plain bug in this query. You see, here's the repository and this is the parameter telling how often the events happen. I will make these events very rare. And what will happen if I tried to print the histogram of these events out? You see, most of the, the bars will be missing. It is so because group by operator cannot fill in the blanks. Any hour that has no data will be represented by nothing. There will be no object in the, in the sequence produced by the group by operator. The whole idea of solving a customer's request with a single large link query turned out to be not so smart. It will have a problem with mixing different pieces of logic into one place and if anything changes you will change the, the entire link expression. It has organizational problems so to say. It, 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 has, it has problems it cannot solve like adding the missing items, the empty items into the result of group by. That's what the link doesn't do. That would be the left outer join in terms of databases and you know that the link is very bad at doing left outer joins. It's not designed for that. We conclude that we have the problems. If you really wanted to construct a large link expression, this is the order of steps you do that. But as your application starts growing, you will start noticing these problems I have been talking about. And in the next video, we will dissect and decompose this large expression into smaller chunks and put each separate chunk into the place where it belongs. So if you want to see me solving the problems caused by this large expression, then watch the next video where we will effectively correct the issues I have just made. 
Don't forget to watch my video courses. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.